Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at zero and adding products and services so we can try and automate our sales process as much as we can so we're not sitting there and typing away on invoicing so we just select the item and just create the invoice make it very very quick. Just before I continue if you like the video subscribe before I continue if you like the video drop a like if you have a comment on the video saying it's helpful or not or have any questions you want cleared up drop a comment i will always respond to them and also subscribe and hit that bell notification we've got new videos coming out all the time uh, on zero and other pieces of software so keep in, keep tuned to the videos they're coming out every week so let's get into it as you can see we're in our dashboard right now and now we've going from the dashboard we want to enter a new product and service so if we go to the business tab and go to products and services see as you can see we have no items in there um, we can use tracked inventory or non-tracked inventory so if we're a service like us as an accountancy practice we're a service-based com uh, company so we have services that we offer on a regular regular basis um, so we don't need to track any items so let's create one of those and we'll create a stock item that you want to track the inventory on so let's click on a new. So we we'll give it an item code. So if I just do um, BKSO1 and call it monthly bookkeeping services, uh, we don't purchase the item. I sell the item and I sell the item at £30 an hour. The sales account it will go to is just sales because I haven't got anything that's specific to bookkeeping. That's what you also can do is create new nominal codes if you want to track it that way, uh, if you want to split it out. And this here, I track this item. This treats your item as a tracked inventory asset. Zero, record the quantity on hand and prevent you selling below a quantity below zero. So this is for you to track your inventory. Okay, so this is to make it a stock item. But currently it's not a stock item, so we'll just hit save. Okay, so if we just quickly create an invoice, Go to business, invoices, I go into new, I won't put any customer details in, I just want to get the um, item. So if we click here, you've got item there, and it's done it all for us. Okay. You can see here, so all I'd have to do is put in here the hours, and it's done it at £30 plus VAT, and everything else. And then if I want to put any discount in, or anything like that, it's all done for us. It makes my invoicing very, very quick. But let's just do a stock item. So again, we go back to business, products and services. I'm going to create a new item. And I'm going to call this CSO1 uh, Company Formation. Okay, I purchased this item and I pay it at £50. The purchase price, is, purchase account cost a good sold and it's £20. I sell the item for £100. I mean, what a lovely markup that would be, obviously. I sell it at that, and I want to track this item. Okay? So it gives me an inventory asset account. Okay? So it gives me company formations. Quantity, zero. So I've just got to put the quantity in there. So edit item. I have... Um, so let me have quantity in there. Save. Right, okay. Increase quantity. So to put the quantity that you had at hand when you created this item, so if you're new to zero, you need to go to options, new adjustment, increase quantity, the date that you're increasing the quantity. You've got 100 at 50 pounds. Okay, adjustment account, cost of goods sold, reasons for adjustment, you can say that it's a new stock. Review adjustment, um, opening stock level. Review adjustment, post adjustment, okay. So that's what we've done. Now you've got 100 on hand, so now if we go to do another invoice, go to new, go to item, we do a company formation, da da da, I'll select the client, if I've got any on here, 
if I do. Okay, we see the new contact. Da, da, da. I can't have that empty. Just do that for today. Right, so it's now said I've sold one of those items. So if I now go into my products and services, You can see that I've got 99 left. Okay, so it's very, very simple, very easy on how to create products in zero and whether you do it as a service. So if you're a service based company like we are, like I said earlier, or if you do stock. Now, you might not want to keep track of the stocks, you might have a separate system that tracks your stock. Um, but what you can do is add the products in so it allows. Um, you to very quickly create your invoices so it's not a problem creating a non-tracked item what you need to do is just make sure you don't tick that box of I track this item and then you can add the products in and all that will do is all that tracked item will do is stop you selling something that you have no stock of so you just need to obviously be aware of that uh, but that's it for today it's a very very simple quick video or quick tutorial shall I say and like I said at the start, if you like the videos, drop a like. If you have any comments, good or bad, I take all, all manners of feedback. Uh, please leave a comment, comment below. Also, if you like the videos and you find, find it helpful and you want to learn some new things, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. We've got videos coming out every week uh, on Zero QuickBooks, Free Agent Cash Flow, Sage, Business Cloud, Dext, Excel, and I'm sure there'll be others. Auto entry, we've done a couple of videos on that, but we could do some more. And some other sort of automated processing for businesses and small businesses. Um, but yeah, we've got plenty of content coming. Uh, so until next time, be safe.